Hello and welcome to one of my beer reviews. Right, okay, I'm going to be reviewing a beer this evening which I haven't had before uh, by a brewery which I'm very familiar with. Uh, basically, it's this stuff. It's uh, Gorham IPA from Buckcomb Brewing. Now, I picked this bottle up. Uh, I'm currently well, I'm currently on holiday on the Isle of Scilly, uh, just off the Cornish coast, and um, the local shop, the co-op down in Hugh Town, which is on uh, the main island of St Mary's, where we are at the moment, uh, happened to have that in the shop, and I thought, oh, give that a go. I've never had that before. And um, yeah, it's a 5% IPA, uh, a Gorham IPA named after apparently uh, a famous Bristol giant called Gorham. <laughs> and uh, basically on the back, uh, it claims to be, you know, a very hoppy IPA. Uh, they've used uh, local, uh, well, local, but Wor Worcester hops and some American hops as well. And it claims to be a full flavoured beer uh, with the ABV of a classic session ale. Gorham, it says Gorham towers above uh, other lesser IPAs. So there we go. And it claims to be powerfully hopped, but well, we'll see. <laughs> uh, Buckcomb, yes, they've been around quite a while. They were founded in 1978 uh, and they're based in Rington. Uh, although it has a Bristol postcode, to be fair, it's, they're not really based anywhere near Bristol. It's actually on the outskirts of the Mendips. It's actually probably closer to Western Supermare than it is Bristol, <laughs> in fairness. Um, and yeah, they were founded in 1978. Uh, they're a massive brewery. They're huge. Um, you get their beer all over the place. Um, you often get their beer in Fuller's pubs. So I don't know. They must have some sort of deal with Fuller's. I, I really don't know. Um, in 2015, they were bought out by Liberation, uh, which is basically the Jersey group. There's a famous brewery on the Isles of Jersey. And then more recently in 2017, both Liberation and Butcombe were bought out by uh, Caledonia Investment Group. Uh, for a staggering 118 million pounds huge sum of money so you know Buckcom haven't been independent for quite a few years now uh, so now they're all about big bucks unfortunately and I say unfortunately because more often than not when big companies get involved I mean Caledonia are huge they're a massive sort of hedge fund investment company they've got assets worth over two billion pounds so they're you know they're a big big business um, more often than not, when big companies get involved, it, you know, it, it generally doesn't do well for, uh, for beer. A good example is Doom Bar from Sharps. I mean, after Coors bought them out back in 2011, I think it was, uh, their beer hasn't been the same since. Um, I mean, I don't know what this is going to be like. I mean, I don't know how much Caledonia have actually sort of stepped in and started telling them what to do. I don't know. I mean, hopefully they've just said to the guys, look, you know, you're making money. You know, it's a profiting business keep on doing what you're doing. I hope that's what they've done, but I don't know. But we'll see, you know, it might, you know, it may not have had much effect at all. Who knows? But yeah, I haven't had this before. Uh, so I'm quite intrigued to try it. Uh, as I said, it's a 5% beer in a classic sort of real ale 500 ml bottle. Um, yeah, let's get it open and let's see what happens. Okay, not much going on there. Let's get it in the glass. Okay, well, it's pouring a nice colour. Nice sort of straw colour, really, which is quite nice. Yeah, it's a bit of carbonation going on there. Not much in the way of a head. Uh, yeah, a few bubbles in there. Um, yeah, it's actually losing its carbonation quite quickly, in fairness. But um, yeah, it's a nice colour, though. You know, it looks all right. Nice sort of straw colour, slightly off, off golden colour, which an IPA should look like. So that's all good. Right, let's go in with the nose. Um, yeah, you're getting the aroma of the hops. You're definitely getting that. It's not like massively in your face. You know, it's not a really powerful aroma of hops, but you can definitely smell the hops. They're, they're certainly there. I mean, I don't know what hops they've used. They're not actually having said in the bottle what they are, uh, apart from the fact there are some American ones and uh, Worcester hops. I, don't, I really don't know what that could be. I haven't got a clue. Um, <laughs> I haven't got a clue what hops there will be, you know, but you know, I might better identify some of the taste, who knows, but um, anyway, cheers. That's pretty good actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the hops are coming through really well actually, it's really nice. Um, it's not powerfully hopped, but it's a 5% beer, so that's fine. Um, it's actually very well balanced. Um, I would say the hop profile on it is absolutely spot on for, for the strength of the beer. Um, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely flavour to it. Yeah, 
That's really good. Um, hops, probably, I'd hazard a guess at US Cascade. It's probably what they are, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice, easy drinking, quaffable beer. I mean, this has been in the fridge uh, for quite a few hours. And um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It tastes lovely chilled. That's a really lovely flavour to it. Um, yeah, this is really good stuff, actually. Really nice. Gorham IPA from Buckham. Um, yeah, it's good. Really good. I mean, it's not the best beer I've had all this year, but it's certainly far from the worst. Um, would I drink it again? Yeah, I would. I mean, I wouldn't rush out and get another bottle. Um, but, you know, if I was in a pub and that was what was on offer, I'd, I'd happily drink it, yeah. Very much so. Um, so, what would I give? Buckham's Gorham IPA coming in at 5%. Um, I think for me, guys, it is a 7 out of 10 beer. 7 out of 10. You know, it is an IPA. Um, you can tell the fact that it's got American hops in it. It has a lovely hoppy flavour to it. It's not in your face, but it's 5%, so that's absolutely fine. Um, it's a very nice, easy drinking, quaffable IPA. Yeah, it, it's good. All right. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. All the best. Cheers. Thank you. Goodbye.